everybody, Holy Legal here, and today we're going to react to Sephiroth vs. Burgill from Death Battle. So, if you want to see the only video, I recommend you check in the description below. So, anyway, let's start off with this reaction video. The screw Attack. Death Battle. The great philosopher Plato once said, The measure of a man is what he does with power. But to these guys, power is the measure of a man. Sephiroth, <laughs> the fearsome one-winged angel of Final Fantasy. And Virgil, the half-demon son of Sparta from Devil May Cry. He's with an arm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death, death battle. Oh man. Now, there's something. Between these two characters, I don't know too much about them. So, I can say how much. So, I'm not a fan of Final Fantasy old, or Devil May Cry. So, I'm telling man who wins or loses. Now, I was kind of a bit salty for the last episode I watched, which made me a bit salty. And also, sorry for I wasn't uploading videos, it's, it's not because of school. At this point, I finally. I'm finally taking a break of school by now, but I'm kind of lazy at this point. I'm totally mad who wins or loses. And heck, this is actually the Death Battle final episode, which is kind of interesting. I just didn't feel doing it, and but I just felt so I wanted to do it. But I'm making this reaction for my all, for all my subscriber who, who make me keep going making content. Is that Booby had it? Die? Into the live stream, he's had unlimited access to his magical powers. With his new godlike. 
like abilities, Sephiroth began a plan to stop mankind from drying up the planet's life force. That doesn't sound so scary. Does that mean he's an environmentalist? Or... But to do this, he decided to use black materia to summon a giant meteor to destroy the planet and absorb all of its life energy. Is that Majora so, Mask? So like no, I'm, I'm not the biggest Zelda fan anymore, vampire. but I kind of know about the... In the game of Majora Mask, there was like the moon going down on the earth. <laughs> Ouch. I never play Final Fantasy. This is insane. I 
said not if Virgil's abilities have anything to say about it. Well, sadly, for any human, demon, or human demon who gets in his way, Virgil also happens to carry some extra deadly weapons on hand, including a spippy katana called Tomato Yamato. <laughs> <laughs> tomato. Moreno. Bitchigo and the tomato. Really? Really? Virgil's sword fighting prowess draws from his Dark Slayer fighting style, which emphasizes teleportation, lightning quick movements, and even quicker slashes straight from the sheep. This technique is directly influenced by Ei Jutsu, the real life Japanese art Whoa. of quick draw. And thanks to Virgil's demonic power, he can attack so fast the blade seems to be a wolf. Be a wolf. And the only thing better than fighting with one sword is fighting with eight. With Virgil, oh my God. he easily summons swords. He can turn himself into a living Beyblade. Fire them like a machine gun. Or make it rain! Whoa! Make it rain! Make it rain! But if he make wishes to focus rain. on brute strength, he switches to Beowulf. He can charge up blink of an eye punches and kicks that hit like a cement truck made of lead and KO some of the toughest demons in just a few hits. And hey! Looks like he digs Street Fighter. There's one more trick huh. up Virgil's sleep. Well, it makes sense. If, if I know correctly, Devil May Cry is actually made by the same person of Street Fighter. And that was a very pointless fact for you guys. In case you didn't know. Making him several times deadlier than before. Plus, he just looks badass. In his quest to Whoa. become as powerful as his father, Virgil's abilities skyrocket. He's taken down dozens of demons in the blink of an eye. And escaped an illusion from the sorcerer Arca, which makes normal people go crazy. But if anything's gonna show up, the son of Sparta can really do, it's him against the road. Sure, oh yeah, the same thing as the Tante. But why dodge them when you can spin your sword, line them all up, and fire them back? Like a boss. In the same battle, they briefly created a 12-foot diameter open space in a heavy rainstorm with nothing but their sword slings. On average, storms can fill a cubic foot space with as many as 30 raindrops. So, Virgil and Dante must have destroyed 108,000 raindrops in less than a second. If Virgil whoa, whoa. can swing his sword that fast, I bet he'd make a killing mowing lawns, or chopping meat at the deli, or giving haircuts, or doing that thing where he chops bad guys to pieces so fast they don't even realize they're dead yet. Like when he fought Beowulf. The monster, not the weapon. And then he uh, fought him so the hard, monster, he not the 55 weapon. feet up and hit the ceiling. When comparing Ouch. Beowulf's size to Virgil, he appears to be as large as an elephant. Given what's available, this seems like our best measure of Virgil's strength, but there is one issue. The Devil May Cry series makes frequent use of slow motion to depict the absurdity of these characters, and this could be a similar case. So let's look at another slow mo feat, the Rainstorm fight. At one point, really again? For a for about two and a half seconds, as Virgil and Dante keep moving, indicating a 14,500% speed increase in real time. Hmm. Applying the same degree to the Beowulf punch gives us an acceleration speed of about 4,882 feet per second. Whoa. With that in mind, we can apply our previous data to deduce the maximum height stand ceiling and determine Virgil's striking strength to be nearly 720 million newtons of force. That's a lot. It matches Virgil's Still incredible toughness, point. too. We already mentioned his super healing factor, but it's even more overpowered than you think. Virgil what? once got completely yeah. cut in half, but healed so fast that it's impossible to even notice. And his regeneration ability can be worn down. Yeah, that's how this weird jester guy beat him. But it takes a while to pull off. And Virgil can always just use Yamato to hop through dimensions to get away if he wants. Sadly, Virgil never got to rule the demon realm like he wanted. Instead, the demon king Mundus permanently transformed Virgil into his puppet, irreversibly manipulating his mind in the process. And then Dante kind of, uh, exploded him. But one or two losses against someone who's basically goddamn Satan hardly makes him a weakling. Hell and Earth trembles before the power of Virgil. <laughs> It'll be fun to fight with the prince of darkness. If my father did his I should be able to do it. I just thought Boom said... Boom six say something. All right, the <laughs> <bet is> our <laughs> Sorry. Six. Let's end this debate once and for all. But before we get to the bloody slicing and dicing, pick up some blue apron and slice and dice in your kitchen. Fuck that. I don't want them. No, honestly. Yeah. It's horrible. Here. So check out this week's menu and get your $30 off with free shipping at blueapron.com slash battle. Blue apron. Blue apron. Better way to cook. 
But right now, it's time for a death battle! Yeah! Now, if you want to see the real video, I recommend checking in the description below. So, let's start off with this. There's Burial. There's a wow, already starting off this quickly. You are powerful. I can see it. Who are you? Your despair. Fight! This is finale. Dutch. Oh! Recover. Well, Jesus, it's true what they say. It's very funny. It's very long how they say. Stroke mm. it. And get no kid at all. Uh oh. Boom! Ouch. That must hurt. Man, this is actually pretty good. Uh oh. Bird oh, bird yell away. Like, well, he doesn't matter. I'm so brutal. Okay, you're strong. But are you fast enough? Maybe just. Oh. Oh, man, that's going to hurt. I suppose it can't be helped. Oh, snap. He's. Ah, he's a fit over eight. So that's me a similar. Oh! Sure. You're fake. Yes. Stop wasting my time. <laughs> Crazy! Oh, he got him. Oh my god, this is so lighting. Oh, oh, okay, now you think it's a reality warper or something like that. Oh shit, bur Double trigger. I don't think he will survive. Yes, I know, Bert. Oh! Well, he survived. But he's really damaged. Oh, damage. Oh, right in the heart. Yes, I knew it. Well, I was through. I, I got it. I think my luck got better. It's a pair one. Interesting. Well, at least Final Fantasy got a victory, which is something for Final Fantasy fans. But to me, man. But at least I won. <laughs> But at least I want the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise and the Marvel franchise win more in this series because they're having lost a lot more. Especially the last episode. First, let's compare Sephiroth to a fellow first class member of the Soldier Fighting Force who had also been experimented on with Genova cells. Zack Fair. Remember him? He's the not cloud guy who fought that dragon. At his peak, Zack could cut through a large metal door with one swing, seemingly with most of his strength. Given the size and width of the door, this feat's sheer strength comes out to 980 million newtons. And Seth was way stronger than Zack. In fact, if we look at their strength stats when they fought that dragon, Sephiroth was three and a half times Whoa. stronger than Zack. Putting Sephiroth's strength output at over three billion newtons. That's almost as much force as 30 Hiroshima bombs. Strength isn't everything, though. Virgil was technically faster than Seppi, but Sephiroth has handled people at similar speeds before. Plus, Sephiroth could survive plenty of hits because his healing power is broken. The capabilities of Virgil's healing factor was nearly unprecedented, but it had its limits. In contrast, Sephiroth's healing abilities were only limited by his pool of magic, which was unlimited. Well, he also had to take some time to cast each healing spell, but that's why he distracted Virgil with his illusion. Mm -hmm. We know Virgil he was maybe susceptible to He kind of a little bit overpowered attacks, right there. This happened to him multiple times and even led to his in demise. And Sephiroth's illusions could hide his ultimate technique. Yeah, Virgil's 
feeling was pretty awesome, but it was never going to hold up under an exploding sun to the face. Virgil put up a good fight, but he That's couldn't match Sephiroth's superior strength, magic, and techniques. Looks like this devil tried for the last time. Oh. The winner is Sephiroth. Sephiroth. Well, good job, Sephiroth. Good for you. I'm mad. Hey, I'm Chad. I'm Boobie. Big fan of my Wiz. If you want to get the fight music for this episode of Death Battle, just click the link in the description and you can pick it up on iTunes. You can get music from Thor vs. Wonder Woman, Naruto vs. Ichigo, a bunch of Death Battles. And if you want exclusive commentary on this episode, then click that box right over there in the corner. Thank you so much for joining us for Death Battle Season 4. Thank you. I've been... some episodes next year in Season 5. Uh-huh. Season 5. Two. Okay. Yeah, next season. I mean, this was a real good episode to end season 4, and I will say, I really enjoyed season 4 a lot. There were a lot of good episodes, my favorite has to be Smokey vs. Versus, versus McGruff the Crime Dog. That was actually the best one they pulled off thus far. And I've been really enjoying this season. Now I'm, I'm up looking for season 5 to react way more. So, if you guys enjoyed the reaction video, Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I see you guys in the next video. Bye.